ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist, and it's time to take a look at Cyberverse. It's time to take a look at Beast Hunter Cyberverse. It's time to take a look at the Legion class toy that made me look at Beast Hunter Cyberverse and say, hey, what's up? This is Smokescreen, the Autobot who is voiced by Nolan North, and it's time for our first installment of Casual Cyberverse, where I'm going to do things old-timey style, all live and whatnot, except for some shots that might get peppered in. So this guy's alt mode is totally his car mode from the show. It's a sports car, and it says 38 on the side. The lines of this thing are smooth. This thing comes together super tight. This thing's not got a lot of gaps everywhere. It's got panel lines everywhere, but not tons of gaps. The paintwork on it seems to be focused primarily on the 38 and the stripes, and you know what? That's cool. The plastic color, though, is odd, because it's this, like, kind of gunmetal-y... Well, no, not gunmetal more like a silvery gray. Forget I said gunmetal, although that does somewhat apply to the weird windshield paint app, which I actually do kind of like. Anyway, uh, he's not white, and I, I think I feel okay about that. He, he comes with a, a Gears of War gun. Uh, this thing can plug in to all sorts of places, provided you aren't trying to break the laws of physics by getting this peg into that hole. It's not going to happen. But you can do this, which looks pretty silly. You can also jam this down over here, which looks pretty silly and means that wherever he's driving, he's just grinding a chainsaw gouge into the street. And What a weird dude. Anyway, the cyber first weapon thing, I mean, there's pegs all over it, there's a there's a port in it so you can combine the weapons together. Uh, this is something that started, I, I want to say, in the Prime Cyberverse, this whole, like, merging of weapons thing. And it's a cool gimmick, it's, it uses a unified peg hole system, it's neat, and it's also forgettable. Anyway, this dude's main feature that really made me say what a cool toy was his transformation, so let's get to that right now. Where's the music? Oh, yeah, right, we're doing it this way. Okay, so uh, transforming this guy is quite a pleasure, especially for a Cyberverse Legion toy. That's where this guy's engineering, I think, really shines and comes out and shows you just who it is. Uh, the first cool thing, aside from this, like, massive flip over, is that this thing locks in real solid. Like, uh... Uh, his feet are kind of huge. Uh, they're kind of like the Cyberverse Bumblebee legs and feet in that there's a, a major curvature and there's a huge flat part in the bottom and then this weird gap if you start trying to use the fake ankle joints. So, you know what? Maybe just, just leave that alone for now. The real magic uh, is the rest of this stuff. So up here, you've got this uh, split down the top of the roof. You pull that apart and whilst you're doing so, you're also noticing, hey, it's connected to the doors. These doors are, I think, where the bulk of the magic is. Because the way that this arm works is you swing it around here, and then it really solidly... And, and it's not like this out of the package. You actually have to tweak this once you open this guy up. It clicks in super damn tight, uh, thanks to a little lip on this gray piece here. And it's... it's Well, I, I mean, if I yank down on it, yeah, it's going to come apart. I'm a, I'm a grown dude, but... Uh, the little click of friction is really helpful. And then it's topped off by when you fold this door forward, this thing is cut to fit into the gap between the wheel and the arced part of a car hood. I know cars. And it doesn't click in, but if you get the wheel, you know, hold the wheel down here because it's kind of jostling around on its axle, and just push this in and leave things be, it's a pretty solid connection. Like, I can, you can waggle the arm around and it's not, well... I'm a grown man yanking on this arm. Anyway, it's tighter than it should be, I think. It's it's tighter than, by all accounts, such an engineering feat on such a small toy should turn out. And I was verily impressed by it. And this is all topped off by uh, what I deem to be the cherry on top. That is, uh, he has a head. That's not the cherry on top, though. Uh, you put this down here, and then when you fold this thing down, if you take a look at where there are ridges and nubs... There is a, a lack of focus, and there's also a nub that goes into a ridge that's cut into the windshield down there, and this is kind of tricky to line up. You kind of have to fold this out a bit, and then there it is. So this thing's all locked together, and with that one locked in, it's now in position for me just to pull this down, and then I missed it. To pull this down, and then ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, there we go. So basically, this is super tight now. And, uh, 
It's a great locking mechanism. Because with all this locked together, now we have just this super damn tight uh, robot mode. And it looks pretty good. The transformation's really fun. He's decently Cyberverse Legion posable. He's got ball-jointed shoulders and hips, basically. Uh, means he can totally look like he's doing ballet. And, uh, you know, you give him his Gears of War Lancer, and you're good to go. Um... This guy's not, like, a blow-your-mind incredible toy, but he's a Cyber First Legion toy with a very memorable transformation, and I think both of his modes look pretty good, all things considered. I mean, uh, the color is a bit off, but his head sculpt is there, man. Like, you take a look at this, and that is Prime Smokescreen. Granted, it's missing a ton of paint apps, but the sculpt, it's all there. You can go in there and dot all that in if you want to. I'm sure I will someday. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about how much I like this dude, because this is where I love to see Cyberverse going. You take a tiny little package, like a little five, six dollar toy, and you stuff as much as you can into it. Uh, either be it posability, like the Prime Cliff Jumper, or just straight transformation, like this guy. And it feels good, man. It feels pretty good. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Evangelist, with the first installment of hopefully more than one installment of Casual Cyberverse. And that's all I got to say about this little guy. So we'll be back later on with a true abomination. Which I, I do mean as a compliment, actually. Uh, do I still fade out at the end of this thing? I don't know what to do. Oh.